People, welcome to the White Dog Music YouTube channel. Today we're going to ask the question, contemporary music colleges and universities, are they really worth it? Okay, so having been through the system twice now in terms of modern music tuition and modern music academies, I thought I might just have a quick chat about my thoughts and let you know a few do's and don'ts with regards to attending one of these establishments. I won't mention any names here, but the first establishment that I graduated from was in Wapping. It was one of the first contemporary music colleges to come over from our dear old cousins in the, in the US. And I won't mention the second one either, but it's in Guildford. I've just finished in Guildford and I came away with a BA on drums in Wapping. I studied bass. In general, I found all of my experiences at a contemporary music academy or college to be distinctly average. And the fact of the matter is, is there's only one thing worse than distinctly average, and that's distinctly average and really expensive. Now, in fairness, there are mitigating circumstances or were mitigating circumstances. The first one being that I've been through the mill a few times before and I'm a lot older than the other students that attended the course that I attended. The second mitigating circumstance is that half the known world closed down. Okay, so mitigating circumstances aside, here are your three do's and don'ts if you intend to pursue your career and that route takes you through or involves you with a contemporary music education establishment of one kind or another. There are a few out there. So here's don't number one. Don't assume that because you've been to a place, an academic institution of any kind, that anyone in the real world cares. They couldn't care less. I've never been in a situation where I've had to provide any documentation when auditioning or any of those things. So when you're going to audition for a band, that band may care about or should care about a number of things, including have you done your homework? Are you prepared? Have you done your research in terms of the look of the band? I once auditioned for a relatively well-known band and despite learning all the parts really, really well, I didn't get the gig because I didn't really pay much attention to how they portrayed themselves because it was just an audition, right? But anyway, look into all of the aspects you can and turn up ready to play their songs and impress them. That will get you where you want to go. Don't number two. Don't assume that because you go through music education in any way, shape or form that you're going to come out the other end a rock star, for example. It's not happening. And don't assume that you're even necessarily going to come out at the other end of your experience as a professional musician. You determine that based on the work that you do during your time studying. Nothing more. Don't number three. You get out of this experience, by and large, what you put in. So do not assume or presume that you can coast your way through your time studying and then come out the other end with even a remotely good result grade, score, degree, diploma, whatever it happens to be, do not make that assumption. Work hard, work systematically, be diligent, do all of the things that you need to do. In fact, do more than you need to do. That is the path to success and ultimately enlightenment. So here's your do number one, network, 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 network. The people that you're at college or university with may well be the people who form in one way or another the rest of your life in some instances. Many of the people that you meet at university, or at least some, may well go on to be friends for life. More than that, they may well go on to be business associates, partners, 
bandmates, band members, all of that kind of thing. So go out of your way to network, approach others, do not assume that they're going to come to you. You must go to them. So here's your second do. Do make yourself uncomfortable. Put yourselves in uncomfortable positions. Play with people who are far better than you. Play with people who maybe aren't as good as you. Do everything that you can do to put yourself in a position that you may not have experienced previously. It's all about experience. It's all about pushing yourself. It's all about doing all of those things. So if you do that as part of your your journey through music education, again, that's going to pay real dividends for you moving forward. Okay, and do number three, do everything. Do everything, do as much as you can. Do as much rehearsing as you can. Do as much practice as you can. Do as much learning as you can. Do, 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 do. Go overboard, do too much. Absolutely do too much. Stretch yourself, as I said previously, make yourself uncomfortable. So that's probably the most important do out of all of them. That way, when you come out at the end of your experience, you're going to come out feeling like you've achieved the things that you wanted to achieve. And to have any hope of getting yourselves into a professional music position, whether that's teaching, whether that's band work, whether that's touring, whether that's sessions, whatever whatever you want to do, you need to come out at the other end of this experience having done as much as you possibly can. Okay, so there are my three do's and three don'ts. There's other stuff, of course, but I think by and large we covered having a good attitude towards your your experience and education and all of those things. Do also remember that any academic establishment like this is a business. And as any business, a function is to make money. So you are a customer. That business is there to make money from you. So with that in mind, you do really, really have to have a healthy approach, get the most that you can for the money that you spend, and don't expect anyone else to do the work for you that you need to do. I've said it before, I'll say it again, you'll take out of any experience only what you put in. Thank you again for dropping by the White Dog Music YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe, leave comments. I try to get back to people, so if you want to chat, I'm here happy to talk or don't you know don't subscribe don't leave comments 80 percent of you don't anyway so it's Prado, right prove Prado wrong like and comment all that stuff press bells thanks for dropping by and i will see you real soon